Yo, what's good, it's Jet, and welcome back to some more Do Not Take This Cat Home. Alright, so... I haven't played this game in like a few weeks. Maybe a month, I don't know. We currently, no, not about. We currently have 12 endings. Alright. Right now, I want to try and get to like maybe 15, maybe 16. But um, yeah, let's, let's uh, just get in and see what we can do here. Oh yeah, by the way... Let me know in the comments what y'all want, but I think sometime in the near future, I might live stream this game and get a whole bunch of endings, but let me know what y'all think. Alright, oh. Hit continue. Oh yeah, there's a new update too, I'm sorry. Is this the update? What are you sorry for? I'm so sorry. I was just so tired of everything. Not you, never you. But I couldn't be the person you deserve. Couldn't ever hope to be. You were so amazing, smart, and talented, and independent. You shined. But in comparison, I... D dang it. So stupid. So worthless. But when it approached me, it didn't tell me that it wanted me. It needed me. Maybe that's why I wanted all along. Wanting could be so fleeting, but to be needed. There was nothing I wouldn't give to have someone tell me that I mattered to them. That they needed me. Who's talking? Am I, am I about to get jump scare? You're walking. Right, of course. I'll, I'll like skip now. The weather is absolutely perfect today. That's a good sign, right? Maybe your luck is finally starting to turn around. I can skip. Let's take him home. We're gonna do something alone. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever done that. Like what? Watch a movie. Let's take a nap. You're a little tired from the events of the day. Maybe life-changing choices like committing to the responsibility of caring for another living creature really wears you out. You could definitely use a nap. You head to your room and get dressed in your pajamas before you decide to grab a glass of water from the kitchen. You head back to your bedroom, ready for a much-needed nap. Looks like I have a pretty nice room. Whoa. Only for the cat to race past you through the open door and jump on the middle of the bed. It takes its time kneading at the sheets before settling down and closing its eyes. Well, that was fast. You frown thoughtfully. Now that your mind's on it, you find yourself really craving a nap in your own bed. There's no way you're settling for sleeping on the couch, certainly not the armchair, which means you should. Let's, hmm, how am I feeling today? I'm feeling kind of daring, let's move the cat. You tenderly nudge the cat in an attempt to make it move on its own. It doesn't budge in the slightest. This is my bed. You push a little more firmly this time. The cat sounds annoyed with you. Again, you will sleep in your own bed. <laughs> the cat opens one yellow eye and slides it up to look at you. Is the voice a little deeper than before? Move the cat. You move forward. Really need to shove the cat with all your might! Crash? You're thrown back by some invisible force and crash into the dresser before falling to the ground. When knocked out, you look up in a daze. You don't quite comprehend what it is you're seeing. A strong, swirling wind is picked up, throwing items all over the place, as if a miniature hurricane had just taken form in your room. And right there in the center of it all is the cat, hovering in the air above the bed, its eyes open, going like molten lava. That's definitely different. What is? You watch as a vortex rips open in the, in the center of your bed, up and panic as the swirling wind turns into a vacuum, dragging you towards the bed. Are his eyes getting redder? Your nails catch and tear as you desperately try to cling to the carpet, the floorboards, and every piece of furniture within your reach. 
bloody fingers slipping clumsily on every surface. But there's nothing you can do. As you touch the vortex, your body starts to disintegrate. Tiny particles of your body separating and floating into nothing. The last thing you see is the cat landing nimbly on the bed and kneading at your sheets before it curls up and falls back asleep. Ending 5, do not disturb. Okay, that was, um, something. Let's read it. You shouldn't bother a cat while trying to nap. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Except, we're going to, we know, not that. Uh, we're going to take a nap. We're going to, this time we're going to sleep next to the cat. You shrug. What's the harm in sharing the bed, right? You both have had a long day after all. You try to carefully avoid jostling the cat but as you lay down, but it immediately scoots over and curls up against you anyway. You smile. Sweet dreams. Hmm? You feel like you slept for a long time. You feel a warm weight on your back, but you don't see the... Oh, mystery solved then. You feel comfortable? You consider getting up, but as soon as the thought enters your head, find fill your mind fills up with static and a deep sense of I just really joking, I hear the game. It's okay. The first thing didn't have that much going on anyway. Let me fix that up real quick. Mm. Alright, looks like it looks like I'm playing the wrong version of the game. But um it don't matter. Whatever. But as soon as it, oh yeah, I already read this. Disapproval? Not yet then, okay. The cat jostled by your attempt at, the, at movement, needs painfully at your back before settling down again and falling back asleep. You fall back into slumber too. It's night, you wanna get up. Claws dig into your back like a warning. Tomorrow then, right? You gonna keep me in bed forever. It's morning, you'll be late for work, but the cat doesn't budge. You don't even try to get up this time. You just close your eyes and drift off again. It's the next day. Since the last several days, or has it been weeks? Or longer? You're not quite sure. You're hungry. You don't know how long you've been lying down. You feel sore on your back, but also on your stomach, your arms, your face, everywhere. You can't remember your last meal, the last time you drank anything. You've been sleeping all this time, but you feel exhausted, more tired than you think you've ever felt in your life. It feels like a giant hand is pressing you into the bed. You can't remember the last time you, consider, you even considered moving. But somehow you know that you need to go back to sleep anyway. Everything will be fine if you just go back to sleep. Sorry. You think you're hallucinating when the cat finally stirs. It stretches languidly before hopping off your back. You hear his feet padding through your still open bedroom door. It steps fading out, down, fading down the hall. You don't open your eyes. You don't move. You're afraid. You don't remember how. You're afraid that the static will return if you try. But you eventually do try. You try to prop yourself up on your arm. It's thinner than you've ever seen it. Thinner than you think it should be possible. The arm snaps under the weight of your body and crumbles the dust on the bed sheets. What? It doesn't hurt in the slightest. As if even your nerves have dried up and become as useless as, well, as useless as you feel in general. Just how long have you been laying in bed? You don't have time. You, have, you don't have much time to think about it. Your failed attempts at sitting up sends you tumbling over the side of the bed like a rag doll. But you think you're probably closer to being a ceramic doll, as your body shatters instantly upon impact with the floor. Your head rolls towards the door, letting you watch as the rest of your strong body parts crack and crumble and turn to broken ruin as your consciousness begins to fade. Back up! <laughs> no, let me get thumbnail one time while I have a chance. Hold on. Got it. Okay. Bad kitty, you try to say. 
but you think your jaw might have snapped off earlier as well. Almost as if, almost as if sensing your attention, the cat walks over to you. Well, your head at least. And you watch with your final conscious seconds as it lays down, curling its body around you. It feels warm. Well, maybe another, maybe another nap couldn't hurt. Just a cat nap. Uh, that's ending six. These endings are pretty um pretty quick. I've only been recording for ten minutes. Uh, let's, let's let's keep it going. Let's go. Alright, I'm not gonna take him home. We're gonna feed him. Let's feed him. Look around the area. Uh, actually, let's, let's do this. Not yet. So, what to do about the hungry kitty? Not yet. Okay, okay let's. Is this all I can do? Look around the area. Oh, shoot. Hold on. We glance around the dark, dingy alley. You only see garbage bags, trash bins, empty cardboard boxes, and scattered litter here and there. If there were something for the cat to eat, surely you would have found it by now, right? But you don't want to just give up so easily. You keep looking. You look and only see garbage. You sniff and only smell garbage. You listen. You just barely make out the sound of faint scurrying by a trash bin a few feet away. Is it a raccoon? Quietly, oh so quietly, you keep up to the bin. And you launch. You weren't very graceful in your attempt. You would stumble, you stumbled and knocked over a stack of nearby boxes full of more trash. But as you stand up, grasping your hand, is a small mouse. The mouse squeaks and shrieks in distress, wriggling and struggling desperately in your grip. You're holding it too tightly and carefully for it to be able to bite or scratch you though. It wears itself out eventually and looks up at you with black eyes. It's completely at your mercy. How am I feeling? Are you sure? You can hear the cat's stomach growling. It must be so hungry. It must be starving. You know the cat is hungry. Why are you hesitating? You caught prey for the cat's sake, didn't you? Are you really going to value the life of a filthy rodent more than the cat's? I probably just broke my headphones. Nah, they good. <laughs> oh. oh, my chest. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Yo, let me get a replay of that. Oh, I need to get up. Oh my god. I don't know if I can play this game. Oh. A few minutes later. Oh, it's just this? You're mocking me, aren't you? Last chance. Hand over the prey now. What if I want to? Okay, what's gonna happen? I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, you let the mouse go. It scurries away, squeezing into a tiny hole in the wall. We don't pay it much mind. You flinch as a giant clawed paw slowly falls in front of you, blocking your path to the alley's entrance. Not that you had any delusions about escaping. The cat is hungry after all. Oh, you're gonna eat me. You close your eyes in acceptance as the paw gently pulls you back. And back. And. Ending 26. Life spared. 
<laughs> I keep on telling myself, like I tell my friends all the time. I, like even like some of my family that watch my videos. I always tell them that one of these days, I'm gonna make a jump scare compilation. It's gonna be like a little series of mine. Let me know if y'all want that, cause. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, alright, you know, we're gonna take the alternative. The mouse looks scared as if it can sense your intentions. Oh, It weakly starts to struggle again. Are you gonna snap on me too? The mouse is reluctant. You feed the mouse to the cat. The cat tears it apart instantly. The mouse's pain squeaks and squeals, peers through you until you are abruptly cut it off. Satisfied, the cat mules happily at you, red tinting its fangs. The cat curls up in, in, in its now blood-stained box and goes to sleep. You take the chance to leave. A well-fed cat will, will likely follow you home after all. And kill the cat as you really can't afford a pet right now. Still feeling a little guilty about the mouse, you decide to just go home. After a long walk home, you finally enter your apartment. You head straight for your room. And collapse on your bed, falling into a fitful sleep. Later, you wake up. The squeaking and scurrying noises all around you. So loud and constant, they sound like screams. In the darkness of your room, You see the shifting shadows of hundreds of mice surrounding your bed. You try to run. But you cry out as twin lances of pain race up your legs. You fall off the bed in your attempt to escape. The hordes of mice dodging you as you crash to the ground. You, you can't stand up. Looking back and squinting in the dark. You just about make out the source of your pain. The flesh and tendons of your heels and ankles are mangled, bitten through your socks. No, leave me alone. Desperately, you crawl with your with only your arms towards the door. The mice descend upon you, biting into your skin, gnawing away pieces of you. It's like the figure in and out of consciousness, but you still reach for the doorknob. Your arm heavy, weighed down by the mice clinging to it with little claws and tiny teeth. You manage to jostle the knob enough to the deliver the slowly swing open. Oh no! What did I say? But your outstretched arm suddenly falls to the ground lifeless. The mice manage to chew through the flesh and bone of your now dismembered limb. As a few mice creep forward to curiously inspect your arm, you stare at it blankly for a moment before starting your gaze up. In the newly opened doorway sits a familiar looking mouse that stares at you. The darkness in its beady black eyes, you can't begin to measure their depth. What's up? Nor the hatred pouring out from within them. All of it. Aimed at you. You collapse, head hitting the floor as your other arm is in the way as well. You're not sure how you're so conscious the pain should be indescribable. And yet, you just feel a cold sense of loss. The mice have clustered along your back now, gnawing the rip away the ripping their way between your shoulder blades, into your back into your chest. You weakly cough up blood, the must have damaged something important. You feel something being pulled out of you. And in between the moments that blankets of darkness Fade out your vision. You hear something wet plop on the ground in front of you. You probably open your eyes and see it in front of the mouse. Really shaped, red with blood and pulsing, and that's that's your heart, isn't it? The other mice all descend upon it, abandoning your happy and body.
You're losing a lot of blood. You feel sleepy. But you also feel anger? Yes. So, so much anger. How dare they? How dare they? The last thing you see before your vision fails you is a pair of glowing eyes leering in from the darkness to be on the doorway. You hear squeaks and shrieks of terror all around you. Low yowls, deep snarls, gnashing teeth, tearing flesh. As your remaining senses leave you, you smile weakly with, this, with the last of your strength when something with soft, slightly damp, and sticky fur nuzzles your cheek. Good kitty. Well fed. This game is making me sick to my stomach today. All right, how many how many ends do I got? All right, sixteen. We're gonna try for twenty the next, the next episode. If y'all enjoyed this video, and you want to see some more of me getting scared by a cat and mice and whatever else might be out there, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment on what y'all want to see next, and um, yeah. I don't know how much longer I can keep playing this game. But I'll see you on the next video. All right, peace out. You can do it for her, I please her. You ain't a millionaire, not her life fully. Or shoot out the window, we smoking on. Me, uh, bro, I got nothing to flex. Please get rid of that ego. Passing me looks like a. Something me, I'ma go. Psycho. Dragging it up for a year. Ignoring that I'm how I get. Lego.